I would say these two are the best shoes New Balance has ever made. So, you know, let's see who wins. What's up guys, Vinny here with Sinker Tweaker and welcome back to another video. Today, we have the Versus video on the New Balance Fresh One BBV2 and the New Balance Kawhi 4. So these, I would say, are two heavy hitters in 2024, two of the best shoes that New Balance has ever put out, and honestly, two of the best shoes, like I said, of 2024, both contenders for shoe of the year, and there, you know, there's other shoes as well, but from the New Balance side of things, these two are absolutely crazy, and they do have different strengths and different weaknesses. However, before we get into it, I do want to mention that if you do love content like this and you do want to help our channel out, please make sure that you like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video or the one after that. And if you do want to take it a step further, get onto our website, sneakertweaker.com, get some merch that'll help us put out more videos and then overall just be more consistent on the channel as far as our output. As always though, let's start it off with the traction. Now, both the Kawhi 4 and the Fresh One BBV2 feature multi-directional traction patterns. The Kawhi 4s is a bladed traction pattern and the Fresh One BBV2 is more of a kind of like a spotted radial traction pattern and there's just radial pods. And both of them work really, really, really well. Two of the top tractions of 2024. New Balance has absolutely been killing it with their traction setups and they've been doing that for quite some time and this year is no different. Now both of them also are, for those of you that do like it, super, super squeaky so that feedback will be there. and the grooves are pretty deep on both shoes. So you could potentially take them outdoors. However, the rubber on especially the Kawhi 4 is more pliable. So I would say honestly, do it with, you know, at, or do it at your own risk because there is a chance that it could start fraying and just wearing down fairly quickly because that rubber is super pliable. Again, both of them work really well and even in dusty settings, these things, both of them just bite like crazy. Really nothing bothers it. And if it does collect any dust, either one of them, super easy to wipe off. Now the cushion is where things are pretty different. And one of the biggest things I would say is the Kawhi 4 features a full length fuel cell midsole, whereas the Fresh Foam BBV2 features a full length Fresh Foam X midsole. For those of you that are big men and love comfort and just need impact protection, Fresh Foam BB, v2 is the way to go there's a ton of impact protection the cushion is just extremely plush so comfortable honestly you don't want to take these things off your feet now the drawback is that you do ride a little bit higher off the ground so if that's not something that is ideal to you then i wouldn't say this cushion setup is going to be the one i would recommend in your case whereas the Kawhi 4 features, like I said, a fuel cell midsole. Now the impact protection is still really great. However, it's not going to be as great as a Fresh One BBV2. The upside to that though, is that you are going to ride lower to the ground and you are going to get more court feel. So for those of you that do want that court feel, this thing is going to be your way to go. I know for me as a shooter, this setup helps a lot more. However, there are days where, you know, my knees just really hurt and I need some sort of just a break from that impact. So these shoes are absolutely great. So not to say you can't have both and use it for alternating days and just depending on how your legs are feeling. That's what I do. But again, you know, I understand that not everyone's gonna go out and just buy two pairs of shoes. So whichever is most important to you, that's what I would do. Impact protection on the Kawhi 4 is still really great. It's just, this one is going to be that much better and you are going to get a super nice plush ride especially in the heel you do get a lot of compression and then with the Kawhi 4 you are just you're going to get more court feel and honestly for shooters like myself that helps out a ton whenever trying to get your shot off fairly quickly 
As for the fit, I would say both of them do have more of a standard fit as New Balance does. They're more wide foot friendly shoes. So narrow foot, wide foot, standard foot. These are going to work really great. Now New Balance does have the option to actually go narrow. And their regular one is standard obviously, but they do have an option to go narrow, but they also have an option to go wide. So for those of you that are wider feet, you don't really want to have a lot of dead space in your toes. You can just go the wide option. So that way you can go your true size and then just have a wider, uh, wider base or wider foundation. I guess a, a wider last, um, that way it fits your foot better. Again, for me, honestly, I would say the Kawhi 4 in this case, didn't think I would ever say this, but the Kawhi 4 is going to be my way to go. And then just going back to attraction, traction, I would just, I would tie it up between the two because attraction, both of them are absolutely amazing. If we are nitpicking the fresh one BBV2, I would say probably has a more durable traction pattern. So if you are wanting to take it outdoors, that's, um, that's going to be the way to go. Now this one, the Kawhi 4, strictly because it is going to give you more core feel, but the impact protection isn't absent. It's still there. For the fit, uh, like I said, I'm going to tie it up because both of them do fit fairly similar. And then they do have options to go either way, narrow, medium, or wide foot on New Balance's website if you guys choose to do that. As for the materials and the support, and I guess this is going to be the, the tiebreaker because each has won a category and tied in one. Materials and support though, I would say uh, they're both fairly identical. The Kawhi 4 features textile upper with fuse overlays, and then the Fresh Foam BBV2 features, I would say mesh, and then also this one features more premium overlays. So for those of you that are, you know, wanting more pr a premium feel, Fresh from BBV2 is absolutely amazing. The Kawhi though is going to be, I would say in a way more breathable. However, um, they do offer, a, both offer great support features as well. So you do have nice ink heel counters on both shoes. I would say, I think the one on the Fresh from BBV2 is a little bit beefier. And then as far as the shanks in the shoe, the Fresh One BBV2 features a TPU shank plate, whereas the Kawhi features a Energy Arc, which is their carbon fiber shank plate. To original rigidity, they're both going to be fairly similar still, even with the TPU. However, I would say I've always liked carbon fiber more. So carbon, the Kawhi 4, I would say, is going to have uh, the better shank. Uh, nitpicking wise as well, the laces are also going to be a little bit different. I didn't like the laces in the Kawhi 4 all that much just because they're a little bit more flat <clears throat> and also short. And just overall, it, it just for the price point and everything, it is pretty, pretty flimsy. Um, you think you just get something a little bit better. And then in the Fresh One BBV2, the laces are these nice round laces, which honestly I enjoy. Super easy to tie and then super easy to double knot and the length is perfect. So yeah, don't have any complaints there. As for the price points, the Fresh Foam BBV2 comes in at $130 and then the Kawhi 4 comes in at $160. So those of you that you know are wanting a cheaper shoe and still identical performance, this one is the way to go. And then those of you that are, don't care about the price, um, you know, this one's a great option as well. And I forgot to mention, you know, the winner. So we're gonna say support wise, honestly for me, this is tough, man, because they're both great shoes. They both offer a ton of support. I would say the support, they kind of tie up, but if I just had to go overall fun factor and everything, I'm going to have to say the Kawhi 4 is the winner. I hate the Clippers. I'm not a Clipper fan. I'm a Laker fan, but I got to give it to Kawhi shoe. This thing is an absolute banger. And um, there is a price difference with the 130 and the 160. However, great shoe, even for the that medium price of $160. Those of you that are wanting to save $30, this is a great option. This is still one of my favorite shoes of the year. 
but this slightly overtook it. Now, we do also want to, you know, see the weight difference between the two. And if that matters to you guys, both of them in a size nine, the Kawhi 4 first comes in at 14.4 ounces. And then, oh, and then the Fresh Foam BBV2 comes in at 14.4 ounces. So <laughs> exact same weight. Which one feels heavier? Honestly, the Kawhi 4 kind of feels heavier in hand. Then the fresh one BBV2, I would say maybe the weight distribution in this one's a little bit better. However, they're both amazing shoes. Can't go wrong with either one. So my preference though now is the Kawhi 4. Those of you that are wanting to hoop in them and are wanting a near perfect basketball shoe, either way is a great way to go. This one for guards though specifically, and that's what I play. This one's the best one. Now, a lot of people also ask us where we get our basketball socks from. The answer is from Amazon. They come in a pack of three that costs just as much as one pair of Nike Elite socks. The ones we have are these two muted colors, which the white one and the black one, and they are quarter length. So if you guys like quarter length, they have them available in that, but they also have them in the high top version. Like I said, they come in a pack of three that costs just as much as the Nike Elites. And these are pretty much the same thing, but without the Nike branding. They're cushioned, they're ventilated, and they're amazing socks and they last a long time. If you guys do want a pair, hit the link in our description down below and go grab yourselves a pack. Not a pair, grab yourselves a pack. If you guys have played in any New Balance shoe or particularly one of these, the Fresh One BBV2 or the Kawhi 4, let us know your experience down below. If there are any other shoes you guys would like us to review or have go toe to toe, let us know your experience down below. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.